Hi, in the previous video, I have showed you how to compute the flat coordinate u and v axis for a cortical gray matter chunk. So first, let's remember the components. Here, our aim is to transform from a folded brain chunk to a flattened version of the brain. And to perform this operation, first we need to compute the depth of the gray matter voxels and also the other two axes that are orthogonal to the depth of the gray matter voxels, the u and v axis as we call it. And also just to quickly remind you, we have ended up computing our axis by using the LN2 multilateral program. And at the end, we end up seeing the following representation for the Heschel's gyrus. You can see that one axis runs along and the other one runs across the Heschel's gyrus. So this axis organization for computing the U and V coordinates are found automatically by LN2 multilateral program. However, if you want to position these axes differently, then there's an option to do so. So now first let's go back and load our control point zero file. Update. So here you can see that we have a control point that is just the center of the disk that we are going to flatten. Should be around here. To demonstrate LN2 multilateral custom axis function, I would like to show you how to edit this file. Okay, what we need to do is to find four other points. So first two points will determine the first axis and the second two points will determine the direction of the second axis. To do so, I am going to have a nice angle and zoom in to this region. And then I'm going to make sure that I have the 3D toolbar 3D crosshair mode. And now, just for the sake of example, I would like to show that I'm going to have an axis like crossing diagonally the Heschel's gyrus. First, I click here. It brings me to the correct voxel in the volume space. Then I zoom in, change to brush mode and label one voxel with the color blue or label 3 and then I will select the label 4 and put one voxel there as you can see so now we have these two extra points next I'm going to determine the other axis to do that similarly from the medial lateral direction I will click here I would like it to be more or less orthogonal but I'm eyeballing this the program doesn't uh, ensure that this orthogonality happens because this is now we will use the custom mode custom axis mode okay now i select label five and label one voxel and here i'm going to select the next voxel label six and click okay as you might be able to see There are now these four extra voxels that I have manually labeled and they will indicate my desired UV coordinate axis. Okay, now I'm saving my file as control points file, just changing the name. Now I will run LN2 multilateral program by using this custom axis input. Entering the rim file as the standard input and control points file. And then I'm inputting my radius. So now I'm running it. So now I'm going to load it and see the difference. As you can see, now I have my UV coordinate axis differently oriented in my region of interest. So now I would like to show you an extreme case of using this functionality and also will warn you about the drawbacks of using this feature. Okay, now let's maybe try to make these two axes very close to each other, like almost parallel and see what happens. To do that, I am loading my control point zero file again. And now I will make the other axes very close to each other, so not orthogonal at all. I'm selecting label three, selecting my first custom axis point here, labeling that, and the second one somewhere here, labeling that with label four. By the way, I'm pressing the keyboard press C to quickly enter the volumetric view in IT case. Now that's a handy shortcut. 
and now I will make the second axis very close to this one. Selecting the next label, labeling it somewhere here. So here, by looking at these four custom access points, I would like to highlight that the label 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 will determine the two axes. 3 and 4, which is the blue and yellow. You can imagine that the line that crosses in between them will be my first axis. Here, as I indicated with the mouse. And for my next pairs of points, label 5 and 6, magenta and cyan colors, the line that is in between these two points will be my second axis. Now let's rerun LN2 multilaterate and see what will be our axis. Okay, the program is done. New axis file is loaded and now let's see the results. As you can see, the axes are found as we expected. However, of course the size of the disk looks distorted and strange but this is expected because i give full control to of the control points and how this coordinate finding algorithm works to the user so i do not use this custom axis option too much myself when i was developing it however you if you do end up using it and if you do end up having some questions or problems please visit our github page layer fmri slash laney and go to the issues tab and submit your issue renzo or i will respond to your question that's all for today thank you